This video is going to show you how to create a 3D spiral or helix in Fusion 360. Um, the Autodesk support forum actually has a really good set of instructions on how to do this. Um, you can find it just by going to the forum and searching this issue. Once you find that, I'm, I'm going to uh, demonstrate the steps it takes here. So the first thing we need to do is to go to our preferences in Fusion 360. It's going to open up here and go to design under the general tab. And we have to click allow 3D sketching of lines and splines. So we need to click that and turn it on. We can hit apply. OK, does the same thing and closes the menu. Now what we need to do is to create a coil. We do not need to open a sketch to do that. Go down to the create. Go to the coil, and it wants you to pick a plane to sketch on. I'm not going to put anything specific in here as far as dimensions, but what does need to be done is for the section menu, you need to be on triangular internal as per the directions here. And you also need to select the position of outside. Once those are both done, you can enter the rest of your information and click OK. Now I'm going to create a sketch and it doesn't really matter what, what plane you choose. You're going to go to the Create Project option and you're going to select the Include 3D Geometry option. Now what you want to do is select this innermost spiral. This is why we chose a triangular cross section. This spiral is the has the information that we want go ahead and finish that sketch now turn the body off and all that remains is this projected spiral or helix now in order to delete the coil what we need to do is essentially detach this shape uh, from its dependence on the coil tool the way we do that is we open the sketch and we need to delete this reference glyph. So select it, it's highlighted blue and hit delete. Now this uh, spiral or helix turned blue indicating it does not have a dependence. That's what the purple indicates. I can turn the, bo the body back on. I can come down here, get out of the sketch. I can come down here and delete the coil. And all that's left is my spiral. Now I can use the spiral for any number of functions, including um, a sweep tool, for example. This can be the path that I, uh, that I need to make an object.